joyful and triumphant. Come adore, 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 oh come adore. I'm Sister Tannery. I'm from Bullard, Texas. And I'm Sister Short. I'm from Woodenville, Washington. We are missionaries serving here on Temple Square, and we are so excited to be with you tonight. Every year, thousands of people come to Temple Square at Christmas time to listen to sacred music and to see the beautiful Christmas lights. But many watching tonight have never experienced Christmas at Temple Square. We are so excited to bring this special celebration directly to you in the comfort of your own home. Tonight's musical performances will be performed by different people from all over the world. And throughout the night, we'll hear special messages about the birth of Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And later, we'll take you on a quick tour of Temple Square. We will now have a prayer offered by one of our fellow sister missionaries here on Temple Square, Sister Barker, who will be offering the prayer in her mission language. Querido Padre Celestial, te damos gracias por esta hermosa noche que tenemos para reunirnos todos juntos para escuchar a los artistas y um, las canciones que se han presentado y que vamos a escuchar esta noche. Estamos muy agradecidos que podemos celebrar la luz del mundo Jesucristo y te pedimos que el Espíritu pueda estar aquí para ayudarnos a encontrar nuevas maneras para uh, compartir esta luz con todos. Y... Uh, Estamos muy agradecidos por estas grandes bendiciones que hemos recibido de ti. Y decimos todas estas cosas en el nombre de Jesucristo. Amén. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.
Aloha spirit, I could say is like Christ-like love. Um, just to, you know, smile, to wave, to love, to care, to nourish. Um, I think anything, aloha is anything with joy. I love Silent Night, um, and I love when they sing it, whether in like Hawaiian or Samoan. Um, I think it's just very precious and beautiful, the language and the spirit that you can always feel through that song. Hi everyone, we would love to show you this beautiful, historic and sacred place that is Temple Square. 
We are going to take you inside many of the buildings and tell you about the rich history of their faith-driven beginnings, as well as get to show you the Christmas lights on Temple Square. Okay, let's get started. Welcome to the Joseph Smith Memorial Building. It was built in 1911 as the Hotel Utah, the first world-class hotel built west of the Mississippi. Today, it houses restaurants, reception rooms, a chapel, and of course, it's decked out for the season with this beautiful Christmas spirit. The birth of Jesus Christ was a global event. It wasn't just for us, it was for everyone. He truly is the savior of the world. There are no exceptions or limitations to the blessings of the birth of Jesus Christ. That is why we have nativity scenes displayed here that represent cultures from all over the world. The Salt Lake Temple was built in 1893 after 40 years of construction. Now it's undergoing a four-year renovation to strengthen the original foundation. Despite the temple undergoing this renovation, we can have peace in knowing that wherever we stand can be holy ground, as long as we focus on striving to become more like the Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the beautiful Relief Society building. It is home to the women's organizations of the church, the Primary Relief Society and Young Women's. These artifacts were donated by faithful women from around the world. This building reminds us the power of women when we unite together in Jesus Christ. Now follow us. We're going to take you all over to the conference center. So this is the Conference Center. It is used for cultural events, concerts, and is home to a worldwide broadcast known as General Conference, which is broadcast all over the world in over 90 different languages. This building is over a million square feet and has a 21,000 seat auditorium. It actually sounds like someone's practicing on the organ right now. Let's take a look. It sounds like Brian Mathias is playing. This organ has over 7,000 pipes. You know, this is actually my second favorite organ, right after the kidney. <laughs> there are organ recitals held every week. You can find more information on churchofjesuschrist.org slash events. Everything on Temple Square points us to Jesus Christ. Recently, President Nelson has invited us to re-emphasize him as the center of all that we do, which is why he introduced this sculpture as the new symbol of the church. The scripture that inspired this sculpture is from the New Testament. It's Matthew 11:28, which says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And I love that phrase, come unto me. It reminds me that Jesus Christ does not want us to bear our burdens alone. And as we come unto Christ, we will find the peace and healing that we are searching for in our lives. As representatives of the Prince of Peace, we bear witness that all that is unfair about life can be made right through the atonement of Jesus Christ. Tabernacle, home to the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. 
This choir has over 300 members. They're all volunteers and they share their testimony of Jesus Christ through song. So we kind of like to joke that this building looks like a big potato with the tin foil still on it, <laughs> but it's shaped like that for a specific reason. The roof is actually made out of bridge frames to provide an echo effect, so when you go inside, the acoustics are perfect. They're so perfect, in fact, that when one person drops a pin from one end of the building, somebody standing on the complete opposite end can hear it. And the acoustics sound especially amazing when there's a Christmas concert going on inside. This place is more than spires, organs, and Christmas lights. This is a place of possibilities. Why? Because when we visit Temple Square, we leave wanting to become more like Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ went about doing good, we can follow his example. As we allow the light of Christ to shine through us, together we can light the world. We invite you to let your light shine this Christmas season. Merry Christmas!
Christmas in Nicaragua is so fun. I think that is the most joyous Christmas in the world. We have a lot of parties and a lot of um, lights, the same in here, but most importantly is that Christmas in Nicaragua is centered on Jesus Christ. Um, we have festivals that represent uh, the nativity. So people walk on the streets and they have a, the little baby Jesus. And it's really amazing because uh, all the people dress as Joseph and Mary and Jesus Christ, so it's really fun. In Norway, the darkest time of year is Christmas. Like literally, it's so dark. The sun doesn't go up, depending on where you are, but it's dark outside. And that can often affect everybody. And I think God knew that since it's so dark, we needed the brightest celebration that we have in that time. And so, Christmas is like light for Norway. The, the true meaning of Christmas never changes because Jesus Christ has always been the true meaning of Christmas. Song, 
times in my life when I've just been in a really, really dark place and, um, you know, we, we get in those moments and we think, I'll never get out, you know, how am I supposed to get out of this moment? And it's not until I put Jesus Christ at the center of everything that I realize that He is the light. Um, I love in the Book of Mormon he, when He visits the, pe the Nephites and, you know, the first thing that He says to them is, I am the light. And I've really, really come to gain such a strong testimony that no matter what darkness we're in, He really is there to get us out. And you know, we can think back to those, those times of darkness and we don't feel them anymore because not only does he bring us into the light, but it's almost as if the darkness had never happened. Savior and King 
And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. Este primeiro alistamento foi feito quando Quirino era governador da Síria, e todos iam alistar-se, cada um a sua própria cidade. Yesa Yatsung Jalili de Nasala Chang, Shang Yutai Chu, Daladawe de Chang, Mingjao Bolihang, Intaban Shir Dawe Yizu Yijadaran, Yahataswo Pinjir Chi. Malia, Itong Baming Shang Se, Nasher, Malia da Sheng Yun Yi Jing Zhong La. Y aconteció que estando ellos allí, se cumplieron los días en que ella había de dar a luz. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were, in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. Pero el ángel les dijo, No temáis, porque he aquí os doy nuevas de gran gozo, que serán para todo el pueblo. Tänään on teillä Daavidin kaupungissa syntynyt vapahtaja. Hän on Kristus, Herra. Tämä on merkkinä teille. Te löydätte lapsen, joka makaa kapaloituna seimessä. And plötzling was er er by de engel, en menigte van de hemelse legermacht, die God loofde, en zei, Ir zei aan God in de hoogste hemelen, en vrede op aarde, in mensen en welbehagen. E aconteceu que ausentando-se deles os anjos para o céu, Disseram os pastores uns aos outros, Vamos, pois, até Belém, e vejamos isso que aconteceu, e que o Senhor nos fez saber. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the babe, lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. Tous ceux qui les entendirent furent dans l'étonnement de ce que leur disaient les bergers. Marinen i morn marl maume segio senga canira. Y los pastores se volvieron glorificando y alabando a Dios por todas las cosas que habían visto y oído, como se les había dicho. The shepherds heard him as they heard heavenly hosts testifying of him. As we celebrate that sacred event, we likewise can hear him. In doing so, we will find peace and joy amid the trials that surround us. Let us show gratitude for the numerous blessings we have been given this Christmas season. Greatest among them, our knowledge of the birth of the Son of God. We testify that he is the light and the life of the world. Of this we solemnly testify in his name, even Jesus Christ, amen.
to follow the star where 